on the AP subset, uh, they have insertion sort, selection sort, and merge sort uh, to be considered. And so I want to talk about the time complexity with regards to each of them. And uh, if you haven't watched the video on how insertion functions and how selection functions and how merge functions, you should go back and watch those and then come back here. Uh, but basically with time complexity, the way it works is, is how many comparisons need to be made in order to complete the algorithm. Right? And so by looking at insertion sort, what it does is it uh, compares the first two uh, elements and if the second element is bigger than the first then it puts the it swaps the two then it looks at the third element and then it puts the third element in the correct location and makes all the swaps that need to happen right? and so looking at it you could say well if the list is very randomized then the time complexity would be n squared because you would have to have two nested for loops um, and but with insertion, it's interesting because if the list is sorted, completely sorted, then the, the number of operations that need to occur would be n, the number of elements. Because if it was sorted, it's, it'd look at these two and say, nope, nothing needs to happen. Look at the next, nothing needs to happen. Look at the next two, nothing needs to happen as it goes down the list because the list is sorted. Right? It's only when it's very unsorted that it needs to you know, put the, the element in the correct location in the sorted list. Okay, so then here we have selection sort, and looking at the mechanics of selection sort, we could see that um, it always needs to go through the nested for loop in order to complete the algorithm, right? And so the best case scenario with selection sort is n squared, meaning two nest a nested for loop. And the worst case scenario is also n squared because selection always does the same thing. Right? It never does not look through the entire list or the list that needs to be sorted. Okay, and then we have merge sort here. And merge sort uses a recursive algorithm to divide the problem and um, you know, sort the list. Right? So if you want to go over the mechanics, again, go back to the video um, that I have posted up. Uh, but if we look, if you analyze the time complexity, what we get here is n log n. All right, uh, and so n log n is faster than n squared. If we look at this chart here, time complexity chart, uh, we have n squared is the yellow line, n log n the red line, n is the gray line, and log n is the green line. Right. So this kind of tells you basically which one is faster than the other or which one would require less operations. The effect is exaggerated uh, when we increase n. Right? So if we zoomed out of this, uh, of this picture here, we would see that for a large value of n elements, uh, n squared would take much, much longer than n log n algorithm. Right? Okay. So uh, considering the algorithms, insertion's best case is n if it's sorted. Worst case, n squared if it's very unsorted. Selection is the worst of the bunch because the best case is n squared. The worst case is n squared. Right? Always has to go through the nested for loop. Uh, merge has a, a same best and worst case, and it's n lo times log n. Okay. So if we look at the sorts, we would say, well, if I asked you, which, if I have this list I need sorted, which sort should we run? And you might be tempted to immediately say merge right away. But that's not always the case, right? Because insertion has a best case of n. And so if the list is sorted or mostly sorted, then insertion beats merge. Right. If the list is sorted or mostly sorted, then we get a time complexity using insertion of n right here, which is better than n log n. Okay. Um, so that's the first thing that we should think about. Right. Of course, selection is the worst. We should not even, even consider it when asked the question, which sort should we use, right? The, the question really is between insertion and merge. And, the and the, it hinges on, is the list sorted or is it partially sorted? 
If that's true, insertion would be the way to go. If not, merge would be the way to go. All right, great. Um, but that's not always the case because if we take a look at this bottom left corner here, right? And what does this bottom left corner represent? It represents when the list has a small number of elements. Let's say between one to 10 elements, we get to this bottom left corner, right? And if we zoom in there, then we get behavior. We get behavior that is different um, than what we see here in the uh, top right corner. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and zoom in. And what we see? Oh no, I don't have the image. Okay, so hold on one second. Um, big O oh, time complexity. Let me see if I can bring it up. Oh, this is it. Oh, great. Okay, so I'm going to open this guy up. And this is a zoomed in um, image, right? And you can see here if n is very small, then an n squared algorithm actually performs better than n. Okay? So for very small lists, we would want to use selection sort. As crazy as that sounds, selection sort would perform better than insertion sort and merge sort for very small lists. You see that? Performs better than insertion at best case scenario and also merge. Uh, well, merge is not here actually, but it would also perform better than merge. Okay. Um, not only that, but uh, for very small lists, insertion would perform better than merge. Oh man, I wish they had a chart with n log n on here. But we can imagine that n log n would be n times this yellow line, right, log n. So it would be bigger. It would, it would form, a, form a curve that looks like this coming out to here. Okay. So you could see for n log n, it's bigger than log n. And for very small uh, number of elements, uh, n squared outperforms n, and n outperforms n log n. So every when when we're looking at very small sets, everything is reversed, all right. And actually, selection is the winner, insertion is second place, and merge is last place. But for larger number of elements, it's the exact opposite. Merge is first, insertion is second, and selection is third. Okay, so that comes up on multiple choice questions uh, every now and then, and it's also um, good to, to note that things are not always as they, as they seem um, when considering a small number of lists.